Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. Today I am so excited to share how I decorated for Halloween. I really love how it came out. You guys can probably already see a sneak peek back there. But today's video is going to be part one, which is me decorating my living room. And part two will be up on Tuesday. That will consist of me decorating my kitchen, my dining room, and my coffee bar area. I did go ahead and ask you guys if you would rather see it all in one video or split into two. And a lot of you guys voted for split into two, which is my favorite because honestly, if I were to show everything in this one video, it would be so long as I'm sure this one is already long enough and I really do like going into detail and showing you guys exactly how I decorate every spot of my home so I hope you guys enjoy this first part and stick around for part two but I quickly wanted to let you guys know that I tried to stick with a pretty like farmhouse theme but like a following I guess I know I had told you guys that I didn't want my decor to look like too um, cartoonish I didn't want to use any of like those purple and like lime green colors so I tried to incorporate as much of the decor that I used for fall plus adding like Halloween items here and there and just making my home look like a haunted farmhouse I guess that is what I would use to describe it. So I definitely hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you are new, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here on my channel. And there is so much more exciting content like this coming up. I do decor hauls, decorating videos. I do lifestyle videos, homemaking videos. So again, just hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into the decorating. Okay friends, so getting started with the console table underneath my TV as usual, I'm just going to go ahead and stack these books right here. You guys will notice that I tried to use a lot of the fall decor I had previously placed because I just absolutely love the color scheme I went with and I just wanted to reuse a lot of the decor because there's no point in going out and buying a bunch of new decor when you can actually make what you already have work there's just such simple switches that you have to do to make it work for different seasons or even different styles if you guys haven't seen my previous video i decorated for fall in a more neutral color scheme and i just switched out a few pieces so i just my goal with my channel is showing you guys that you don't have to go and buy different pieces every single time it's nice to get simple pieces for the seasons and then just make it work with what you currently already have so again like this a little vintage shoe i used it in my fall decor as well as the corbel behind the crow picture the crow picture and the glass vase are from no the crow picture is from walmart and the vase is from target but again they're just simple seasonal pieces that i paired up with things i already had and then this cute little stand is actually a DIY that I made. I got the actual shelf from the Target dollar spot for $5. And I just wanted to change it up a bit. So what I did is I grabbed these wooden caps from Walmart. They were $3 for eight. There's four smaller sized and four bigger sized. And then I just glued the bigger sized one with the smaller one to make a little leg. And then you guys will see that I also do stain these. And after I stain these, I went ahead and I stained the shelf itself. And then I grabbed some sandpaper and I sanded down the shelf, especially where it said it, uh, the potion words on it. I wanted to just make it look a little bit more 
worn and vintage so you guys will see that after I sanded it I would stain it a little bit sand it again stain it a little bit and so on until I got the like weathered look I wanted and then uh, lastly I did go ahead and place the little legs that I made and I just used the glue stick so the glue gun and that was it this is how it came out and on the shelf itself, I just put these cute little books I got from Target Dollar Spot. I just felt that they were so cute and I feel like this shelf can be styled many different ways. But I felt like the bigger items um, in contrast to smaller items looked better on it. But that is obviously just my opinion. So here I am just placing those cute little books. This frog juice potion bottle that I absolutely love. And then this glass vase which is like the other one I have. It just has raven feathers and I added some feathers in it. And then you guys will see that I just add a few other knickknacks on here. But I really love how this came out overall and I'm really excited about it. It is definitely one of my favorite areas that I decorated but I love how everything else turned out. So now moving on to the bottom part of this table, I left out some of the pieces I already had out for my fall decor and I'm just going to reuse them like this pumpkin patch sign. All I did is I switched it around so that the wood paneling side was facing frontwards and the pumpkin patch sign was on the back. Again, just figure out ways to make your current decor work. I promise you, you will find a way. It just takes a little bit of creativity and thought but that is what I did and then I just placed a dark green pillow and the birch logs inside of the black basket and you guys I don't know if you've noticed so far but for my color scheme I did continue the same color scheme I had in my fall decor so the greens the burgundies browns and rust oranges the only difference you guys will see in just a while is I really tried to lay back on the greens and focus on adding them here and there and specifically like very dark almost black greens so that is the only main difference I did with the exception of adding a black pumpkin here and there like you guys will see that on this scale i placed a cream colored pumpkin a rust colored pumpkin and a black one and then i also placed a tiny school that i just feel adds that touch of halloween so not necessarily everything on the bottom of this shelf is halloween but it's just those tiny touches and playing with the color palette that really ended up making this spooky. Occasionally, I need to breathe. Stop me for a second, I got needs. Occasionally, I set them free. Don't hold me back now, I'm in the lead. This
On the side of this console table, I just went ahead and placed this soda crate that says farmer's market. I really do love it. And then I just stuffed some Spanish moss inside the cubbies. I added this cute little scarecrow and a pumpkin in one of the little cubicles because on the other side, I wanted to add this huge vase with some florals. So I just felt like having one thing on either side of the console table really balanced it out and that is everything this is how the console table turned out i really do love how it looks and yeah i'm just so happy with it On my side table, I just went ahead and placed these mums inside of this copper pumpkin bucket. I love this piece so much. I got inspiration from Eclectic Kristen. I did share that with you guys when I hauled the copper bucket, but yes, I am absolutely in love with it. And then I just put a little copper jack-o'-lantern and a tea light candle inside of it. And that was it for the side table. Again, super simple and just a little bit of Halloween, but it really did make a difference. I have to say, I really impressed myself with this coffee table centerpiece. You guys know I had been doing the book thing where you put a book and you stack some things on top of it. So I really wanted to do something different for Halloween and I got this cute white dobo from House and Home. I love it. I actually ordered the white color on accident. I meant to order the natural wood color, but I ordered the white one and i still love it i'm so happy i did because i feel like it stands out with the color of the top of my coffee table but all i did is i layered some spanish moss i used a cute little skeleton hand and i layered some pumpkins on top of it and then added some skull heads and again i just love adding greenery to all of my displays i just think it really takes it up a level so that is all i'm doing here is i'm just adding some random pieces of eucalyptus that i found in the colors burgundy and orange and that was basically it i then placed this in the middle of the table alongside a cozy me candle and a black pumpkin to add that touch of black i've been trying to add and that was it for the coffee table centerpiece I'm done playing the waiting game I'm so done I'm all done playing the waiting game Baby like the stars I've been a million miles On my couch all I did is I played around with my throw pillows. I did take out the bright velvet orange ones because I did purchase a new like brown orange rusty colored one at Target as well as a cute jack-o'-lantern one from Target's dollar spot which you guys will notice was the only Halloween pillow I placed but then I moved on to the other corner of my couch and I placed these bats which I made using my Cricut if you guys don't have one it's super simple just trace a bat on black paper and cut it out that is everything but I didn't film myself putting it up because they were so hard to put up. They kept falling down, but finally I got them to stick. And then I did leave the black ladder as well as the birch sticks and the basket I previously had. All I did is I changed the throw blanket I had on it. I had like the bright orange velvety one and I just switched that out with this magnolia one. And then I added a cinnamon broom and this cute sign that says, yes, I can drive a stick, which makes sense with that cute little cinnamon broom and the sticks besides it. I really do love how this came out. And then on this corner of my couch, I place this beautiful knit blanket. I love this color and you guys will see that it is definitely the color I tried to stick for my couch area and yes i'm just in love with it it is so big and cozy and then i just added some pillows over top and that was it for this corner of the couch
you guys while that is everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys love how i decorated for halloween at least my living room area i am so in love with it it is exactly what i was picturing in my head so i'm really enjoying it and i'm excited to have it up through October and yes, I'm just so excited to share part two with you guys. I absolutely love how my kitchen and my dining room coffee bar area turned out. I am just so ecstatic. I have a few DIYs in that video as well. So definitely stick around, hit that subscribe button like I said and the notification bell so you are notified of my upcoming videos but until then I hope you guys have an amazing day and if you guys started decorating for Halloween let me know down below in the comments and yeah that is everything have a great rest of your day bye